Hey guys, um, I wanted to jump on here and make a quick video. I know my last video it helped a lot of people out. A lot of people have been reaching out to me uh, about the firmware updates. Um, I want to make this video real quick about getting one sauce running. Um, since I've fixed this, I've had coin ops and one sauce. One sauce is way better, runs better. You can do more with it. It's easier to install. Um, quickly, I'm just going to run over. There's a new build out. It works with. I'm pretty sure every firmware version. Um, I'm not so sure about that stock one, you know, that we switched from, but I'm pretty sure everything else this works with. I'm gonna put a link. I'm up to, I'm uploading it to a Google Drive right now. I'm gonna try to get it out and put it in the description. Um, but simply, this is what this looks like when you have everything done. Um, I'm trying to show a couple things here. When you download this file, this is the core pack, just the arcade for one sauce. Um, it's not the full build. I know you can just go download the full build, but you need like a two terabyte SSD to do that. This is for people that just want to get one sauce running and then you know do their add-ons afterwards, whatever. Uh, new window. Okay. So when you download this from the link, it's going to be this core test three. This is the one sauce build. It's going to look like this. Download WinRAR. You're going to need WinRAR to unzip it. It's a RAR file. It's the same as WinZip. Just Google it. You can download it for free. Um, anyway, when you get this, what you're going to want to do, and I'm just going to put this for example. This is quote unquote my, my Z file. That's my, my fresh drive. Format your drive to NTFS. Uh, try to make it a bigger drive if you have one. You're going to want to take this download you just downloaded, extract files, extract it to the root. Just click right there. Extract it to the root. Hit OK. It'll do its thing. It'll transfer. Boom. It's done. You can un essentially unplug this right now. Plug it in. It should work. Um, what you do is you take it, you plug it in, wait for it to come up. You're going to go to bring your own game, go down to add on. And once that's flash in there, you should be able to click on that and just go straight into it. I'll show you here in a second. Another thing, um, you're going to have to unhide the menus because by default, whoever's tinkering with this, this beta build, he hit all the menus. So if you want to go in and download your consoles, your handhelds, etc., you're going to have to go into here and unhide the menus. Otherwise, they're not going to show up in the kiosk when you're scrolling through. You won't see consoles. You won't see handhelds. So what you're going to want to do for that, to fix that, go into Content, Retro Front End, Collections. You want to go down to Main. This is your main menu. And then Menu. Inside this folder is the categories that are going to show up in your menu. So this is what I have. Um, naturally, it's just arcades, collections, and themes you're going to see. I brought handhelds and consoles out. They're in this hidden folder. Normally, handhelds and consoles would be right here. What you want to do is highlight them and just drag them into the folder, the previous folder. Um, so that's how to get those out onto the main menu. For your consoles, you're going to have to go in and do the same thing for your consoles because you'll have a consoles tab, but you won't have any consoles in the consoles tab. So you've got to go into consoles, menu. These are all the consoles I selected. I had to bring out to this menu because otherwise they're in this hidden menu. you got to go through select it and drag it back a menu then it'll show up um, if you want to do the add-ons all you got to do go to uh, archive.org type in awesome sauce you'll see these packs Nintendo pack uh, Sega pack whatever blah 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 download whatever you want when it's done downloading it will be in a folder like this wherever you download it to in your drive you want to open it up You'll see your zip or RAR file again. All you got to do is right click, extract files, extract them to the root. You don't have to do anything else. Wait till it's all done. When you plug it in, everything should work if you follow these steps. Like I said, this works on 5.68, 5.7. I had confirmation from a couple people. And I was told by the creator, the guy that's tinkering with this beta build, it just works with everything. So. 
Um, all right, well, if you guys have any questions or, you know, I don't know, just anything in general, reach out to me. Um, I can help you guys get this stuff set up. This is the easiest way. You know, what I just explained, it's the easiest thing I've done on here. Or the easiest build I've tinkered with. I'm just going to plug it in real quick and show you guys where I'm at. And what it looks like when you get it loaded up. You got to wait. There it is. So now that it's in, it recognizes it. Add-ons. Pick whatever one you want. Just do gamer performance, scripter, boom. This is the menu I was talking about. You gotta go into the menu and pull these out so you see these. Otherwise, you won't see consoles, you won't see handhelds. You gotta go in, like I said, and pull them out. But anyway. You know, I got a, I'm, I got a pretty I'm pretty satisfied with the build I have. N64, Super Nintendo, PlayStation. Got all the PlayStation games. Nope, I think I started that game on accident. Oh, another thing, when you get into these games and you're running on here, if you want to get out of them, these right here, hit them twice. Hit once, it'll pop up. Hit it twice, it'll pull you out. To go back in the menu, it's the back button. I can go into handhelds. Game Boy Advance. Jeez. This is gonna take forever, but I think this is the coolest thing up here. It's just kind of funny that I can sit here on my arcade and play Pokemon. And like I said, guys, this is the easiest thing I found, the easiest build I found. It's just you gotta, I, I had to work out all the, the, the kinks and the know-how of just how to get it running properly. Um, but if you just follow the steps that I showed you and download the right links, you know, you shouldn't have any issues. Again, I'm on 5.68, but like I said, I think this works with 5.7. And the, uh, the guy messing with this, he said that it should work on everything. I even went ahead and replaced these with the ball bats. Actually a lot nicer. But yeah, dude. Pokemon. Come on, this is awesome. It's awesome sauce. Get back out of there. But uh, yeah, I hope this video helped. It was kind of fast and sloppy, but you know, the information's there. Pause the video if you need. Um, reach out to me um, or leave a comment below, like the video. Um, if you have any questions, I can probably help you out. This is all I've been doing for like the past four days. So kind of got a good idea of what what's going on. So all right, guys. Thank you. Later.